Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is a Season 1, Episode 23, and wow, there's been a lot of stuff uh, that's happened to the game. And I'm going to give you a quick tour of my base. I did change a couple things, and to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure exactly what I changed. I know I dug this this part out right here around my collector, because this is going to be changed up soon. Uh, actually, it's going to be even different, more different than I thought. We'll get into that in a little bit. And in here, in my storage room, I just built a couple more storage containers up there. And uh, that's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to actually uh, be working on connecting the storage containers with outside and a way for us to drop stuff off in the ship and pick it up whenever we feel like. So we're going to put a conveyor tube right here that's going to be going out the window. And we will worry about crafting all this stuff in a bit. I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually show me welding everything and uh, just do it in speed up time lapse like Imperator Path does. Eh, be something a little different. It might be fun. All right, so this is gonna come through right here, right there. Conveyor tube, conveyor tube, and this is gonna go down. Uh, as a matter of fact, I want it to go down right here. And the reason I want this to go down right here is because I might want to make a uh, a pad, like, uh, not a landing pad, but, I don't know. I might want to make some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, landing pad here someday. And I don't want these to ever be in the way. So I'm just going to have these go down and just be easier like that. Alright, so, do this. And, you know what? Maybe even be better to just do this. Yeah, I might even want to cover this up. We'll see. Let me think about that. But for now, we're just going to do right like this. We need to go that way. And then like this can go this, this, <laughs> this way. All right. And now we're underneath. So what I can do here is I can go like this. And I can just put down a some kind of platform here. Although I can't put one there. Let's put one there, 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 there. There, and there, just to cover it up. We're not gonna cover it up right now because we still gotta, we still gotta build stuff. But I do want to cover these up. I know I said last time I wanted, I didn't want to cover them up, but I was watching some people do let's plays of them, and they really like covered up the uh, the pipes, and it was pretty cool. I'm not gonna go, out, I'm not gonna go crazy to cover them up. If I can cover them up in an easy way, I will. If not, then whatever. All right, so there. Then number five, go that way. Then this one can go this way. Okay. And you can go that way. And let me see what I want to do here. Alright. I need to figure out where exactly I'm going to dock here to dump stuff off. And that's uh that's pretty easy. I mean I could just here, let's we could do this right now. Uh, uh I'm not sure if I want to go that far. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, let's just keep it simple. No point in making it crazy, right? So what we're going to need here is we're going to need these things right here. Now, you've seen me work with connectors, but connectors work very differently now. And uh, we will get into that. So I'm going to be using a connector for this, I think. Yeah, connector. Pretty sure. We'll see. See how it goes. I'm still pretty new to this. Uh, I did go on a, on, on a creative world and figure some of this stuff out, but it's still... It's, uh, it's pretty complicated. Uh, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Should I have it coming up? You know what, let me think about this. Okay, I've made this a bit bigger. And it's kind of pointless for me to make it bigger like this. But I'm, I want to make a big deal out of it. This is a pretty cool, pro uh, pretty cool uh, process that's going to be going on here. And I kind of like it. I'm going to make a big deal out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here... And we're going to line these up so this can come out. And then we just put pipes going this way. That, there, there. And then we have this one pointing up. Alright. And then we're going to put a number four right here. Four. There we go. And another one right there. Another right there. Why not? Let's make this epic. Who cares? It's it's this is basically going to be connecting to a ship anyway. So, um, and then what I can do is I can. 
put some cool stuff around it. Let's see if we can have some fun with this. Let's grab some uh, some corner blocks and some slope blocks. Let's put this on. Uh, what is this number eight? Let's put this right here. Yeah. Or maybe we should do it like this. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. I don't know how cool this is gonna look. I'm just kind of trying to spice it up a little bit. So we got this right here. It'll go like that. And then like that. We should probably make sure this is going to work before we go building stuff around it. As a matter of fact, let's do that. <laughs> let's build it make sure it's going to work first. Okay. So that is completely finished. Uh, I'm not going to bother hiding any more of the tubes, although I could. But it's not really a uh, priori priority. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a time lapse of me crafting this. So enjoy. <laughs>
right, guys. That's it for the uh, welding for now. Uh, there's still a couple things more I gotta weld, but uh, I kind of wanted to get to something else before I do that today. So let's uh, let's go ahead and turn off that welder. <laughs> I know you guys laughed when the welder killed me earlier. That was pretty funny. Um, okay, so what we need to do is that's a connector. We need to get a connector on this ship. And I believe two small connectors can connect to each other. Uh, the only problem is this ship doesn't really have room for a connector. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a little sloppy with this ship. Uh, the ship is this ship right here is kind of like not really a big deal to me. Like it's kind of just like a backup ship. But uh, I still want it to look good, and it's not gonna look good for a little bit because I need to I need to put a couple a couple thrusters on here. Where I wouldn't want to normally put them. Just put them right there. Alright, we need large steel tubes. Well, let's see what we got in here. Alright, so we'll just put one here and here. And we will get rid of these two. I really... Actually, we should probably make these first. Construction components. Well, we could do one and then the other. I really hate to make the thing look ugly, but uh, I, I kind of want to... I want to test out the connectors. Now... The way the connectors are working right now is super cool. They they connect the way I thought they were going to originally, and they can you can move stuff in between them just by connecting. You can move stuff like like if I have a ship with a connector and it connects to that connector, I should be able to move stuff from those that storage room to and from my ship, no problem. And that's what I'm going to be trying to do here. Uh, so we're going to see how that works. But I wanted to test it out before I go any farther. I want to test it out in this video. We don't have a ton of time left, so that's what I'm going to do. So these are just whatever. They're thrusters just to, to be here. They don't even matter. So we're going to take number five here, and we're going to have this going. It doesn't... It won't go there, will it? Oh, crap, that back thruster going down as well. Uh, all right. God, this is going to be such an ugly ship. I will make this ship look better eventually, but it's not really a concern for me now. I mean, honestly, this I'm not even going to be using this ship. This ship will be retired pretty pretty soon. What I'm going to be doing is building a base ship and then building modules. Uh, it's going to be a base ship that can connect into modules. And modules will be uh, grinding modules, welding modules, or whatever. I can make whatever I want. Right now, I'm just concentrating on grinding and welding modules. So this ship will eventually be retired anyway. But, you know, it's a good little ship. All right, so we're going to have this. Let's have this just go down, right? Yeah, we can have it go down. Down would be easiest. Or we could ever go right out the back. Eh, down is easier. And, well, no, maybe, well. Eh, six. No, you see, we can't put the large one on there. We gotta put the ejector. Oh, we might have to put the large one on there, actually. The ejector won't work. Put the number six. Alright, so let's do this. Let's, let's actually get rid of this. And we'll put this right on the back. Facing this way. And... <laughs> it's going to be challenging to hook them up together, but we'll see. Alright, so what do I need here? I need a lot of stuff. Computer display motors. Computer display motors. Computer. Computer. Display. Do I not have any displays? There we go. Displays and motors. Small and construction component. Small and construction component. When I say small, I'm meaning small steel tubes. It's just a shorthand for me to say it, so I don't, you know... So I kind of remember it. It's hard for me to remember that kind of stuff. Although it is getting easier for me. As I play the game more and more, it'll be easier and easier. Okay, so... That's good enough. Let's, uh... Can we turn this on from here? Control panel, connector, on, and that's it. Okay, just on. So let's go in here. Let's make sure this connector's on. Now, this is going to be a connector uh, on a small ship and a connector on a space station. So this might be a little a little tricky, but we're going we're gonna to see if we can make it work. Okay, really quickly, I just want to let you guys know that uh, all these tubes are red because they're not connected up properly. I actually forgot to finish... Uh, welding the, uh, the corner tubes right here, the ones that my ship couldn't get. But uh, I know you guys probably saw it and were, you know, telling me about it. But, uh, you know, I finally got it. Uh, except for this one. This should be the last one. And once I do this, everything should go... All the tubes should go yellow. 
and that means they're all, you know, connected and working within the network. Okay, there we go, yellow. So let's go outside, everything should be yellow. All right, there we go, we're all yellow. Very good. All the way up to the connector. Yes, okay. Now let's see if the connector has any... The connector doesn't have a, um... The lock and unlock mechanism on the connector, which is kind of new, it's grayed out, which usually means it's bugged, but I'm not really sure. They're pretty buggy at the moment, but we're gonna we're gonna do what we can with them. Okay. So what we need to do is get this lined up properly. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. That way, down. Now you'll see the X on the connectors change color when they're close enough. And what am I doing wrong here? I think I need to do this. Okay, that looks pretty close. I'm not sh I must be doing something. Oh, God, they're not close at all, Cage. Okay, how do I get on the side? There we go. We need to go down, which is C. Yeah, they should have connected by now. I'm not sure. I'm probably doing something wrong here. I did this with uh, connectors on small ships connecting. I've never done it with a space station, though. Uh, so, yeah. Maybe you can't? I, I'm pretty sure you can, though. I could have swore I've done this before. Let me try a different build. Okay, I'm back. And I didn't really do anything different, but I finally got the thing to lock on. Um, like I said, these things are pretty buggy. And they're they're more than a little tricky. And what you were looking for when you want to lock on is... you got to get in a position. Like I said, this is not the best place to put this thing on the ship. But what you're looking for is both of the X's to turn yellow. And we need to go down, right? had it working there we go both yellow then you press P and they should be locked in now I should be able to go into my cargo containers inside my inside my base and the stuff that is orange I believe is not part of my ship so yeah so okay so let's look at this reactors I can't get the reactors. Okay, it shows the reactors. I can't get to them. We got the connector. We got the cargo containers. Uh, we got the we got a cargo container, medium cargo container, medium cargo container two, and then the other cargo containers are all the ones in my base. Yeah, see all those cargo containers are all the ones in my base. Apparently, the refinery is showing up on this. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe because it's all in the same space, space station. But I can't put stuff in them. Yeah, I can't put stuff in the refinery. I can't take stuff out of the refinery. Uh, medium cargo container, medium cargo container too. Small cargo container. Uh, those, those small cargo containers are all the ones inside. Yep. And I should be able to move stuff into them and from them. Uh, small cargo container number 7. Just to uh, prove my point. I'm going to go inside... And check out one of the small cargo containers. Alright. So this one is... Small cargo container number 5. We're going to dump everything in there. So let's say my ship needs... You know... Let's say I'm, I'm going along with my welding ship. And I'm welding like something else. And I need items. I will just dock onto this thing. And I'm not going to put it on the back of the ship. I'm going to put it somewhere where it's easier to dock. So I don't have to go through the, you know, the annoyance of docking. I want docking to be easy. So I come over here. I dock. I go to my cargo container, which would be cargo container number five. There it is. Small cargo container number five. There's the stuff I need for my ship. Now here's the cool part. I can interact with my ship now from the cockpit. So all I got to do is go into my medium cargo container. And I'm going to go through and name all these cargo containers. Like these small cargo container 5, 6, 7. I'm going to put uh, at the end uh, space station or maybe SS. I'm not sure. I want I want something 
to show that these are on the space station. And the ones on the ship, I'm going to put ship at the end so I know which ones are on which. I know this medium cargo container is on the ship. I know the small cargo container number five is on the space station. So I come over here, I dock, I take everything I need. Now you can double click to take stuff. This is one thing that a lot of you guys have been mentioning to me. Uh, hold on, my timer's being a pain in the butt. Jeez, what a pain in the ass that thing is. Okay, so a lot of you have been telling me I can double click to take stuff out of cargo containers. And you can, but only if you're at the cargo container you're dealing with. You, you, double clicking will not work. Here, listen. I can't put stuff in there by double clicking either. Cargo containers will only work if you're in the actual cargo container you're dealing with. So for those of you who told me to double click, uh, thank you for the advice. It's really good advice, but it does not work for me. So basically what you do is you take everything out of here and that's it. So now I have a instant way. Basically you come over here, you press P and you just fly away. And that's how I'm gonna, that's how I'm going to refill my my welding ship. Now, not only can you refill your welding ship with this, but imagine you take that module and you're, you know, you take your grinding module and you grind up one of these yellow ships. Now you take the grinding, you, you drop off the grinding module and then you just have your ship with the cargo containers inside holding all the stuff you just grinded. And you come over to here, you dock and you drop everything into the system. It's a really good system. It's going to work very well. And uh, it's, it's, it's going to work. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. But we are going long here, so let me end this one now. That's going to be it for episode 23. We'll see you next time for episode 24. Until then, take it easy.